Hey guys, it's Nick, and today I am playing Murgles, which was created by Murg from Jumping Pound Games. I actually did an interview with him, which it sh you know I'm gonna put it in the YouTube video uh, where you can go to that if you're interested. Before you want to watch, or even after you uh, watch, you can go uh, look at that interview. But this is an incomplete monster taming game. It was his first game, but as he told me, there's a lot of, you know, passion in this. So, what it does, uh, it also incorporates, uh, along with elemental types, like tank, healer, and damage, DPS. So, it's pretty interesting. I've never seen a monster taming game do that before. So, let's get straight into it. Let's see, it's going to be a new game. And it talks a little bit here at the be uh, the beginning. So, I'll be quiet and let it do its thing. Welcome to Azeroth. This world is full of feisty little creatures called Nurgles. Fire, death, hydra, darkness, and light. These are the magical elements Nurgles draw upon to splatter the brains of their enemies. And by summoning and controlling those Nurgles, one can thereby control a lot of power. In fact, many kings, queens, emperors, dukes, jarls, knights, magistrates, bards, witches, wizards, generals, necromancers, pyromancers, belly dancers, priests, druids, and basically everybody who's anybody, they've all found their path to power and riches. Great Nurgle summoner. With such majesty and glory at hand, it's little wonder why boys and girls from across Azeroth all dream of becoming great Nurgle summoners. Well, actually, there's not a whole lot else to do with one's time here, but uh, learning to become a Nurgle summoner and to fight with them is indeed a grand lifelong endeavor. And that's why the art of Nurgle summoning have long been taught at the great school of Murgcraft, Castle Hall. And it's that time of year again. Boys and girls, wide-eyed and keen supplied, from all across Azalar travel north, hoping to prove themselves in the annual trial and win a spot in the school so they can one day join the summonhood. And our story begins with a particularly green little fellow, a north, named Brick, who's traveled very, very far in hopes of becoming a Nurgle summoner. Alright, I guess that's it. D, press E to enter to continue. Alright, so we're Brick the Orc. I almost said over. Throughout your journey, you will be given various objectives called quests. Called welcome. Okay, find Castle Frost. Alright. Well, I want to see what. This is going to be a chest. Yep. 25 gold right off the bat. See if there's anything. I don't think there's anything down here. No. All right. Eat interact with objects. You can only save your progress at summoning fires, which I remember Merge saying something about this in the interview. So try to save at this summoning fire now. Press E. Save. Oh. Okay. Escape. Escape. Your party's health has been restored. This is a dangerous world. You will die. Be sure to save at every summoning fire you find. Alright, well. Let's try our best not to die. I mean, we might, but let's try our best not to do that. Alright, I want to go around. 
Okay, I'm wondering if this is tall grass or like, you know, where you can find Murgles. Nice little feeling to it so far. Hey, who the fuck are you? Another one of them adventurers, hey? Wonder how long this one will last. <laughs> well, well, well. And who might you be? An adventurer, you say? Ah. And just what sort of adventure do you think you'll find yourself here in Castle Frost? You came all the way here, and you don't even have a single murder. What you say is name makes you think you can join the Summit Hood. Well, I don't give a Hawkins toot how far you traveled. But I've seen enough noobs lose their toes to the frost in my day. A fool like you would do nothing but cause trouble up here. Go home. Grandpa, don't be so rude. What did I say about me being mean to newcomers? Ugh, look, he's freezing. And you, hi, I'm Aelin, and this old blizzard is my grandpa, Monty. But you probably already know all about him. <laughs> yeah, I use the same stream. Multiple reasons. I heard what you were saying. You want to become a Murgle summoner? Great! We actually need all the help we can get. But my Grampy was right. You do need at least one Murgle before you go out there. You, you really don't have any? Uh, here. I guess you can take one of the ones I just caught. Ugh. You're going to give him one of the Murgles that we spent the entire week freezing my buns off looking for? Yes, Grandpa. Anyways, here, you can take one of mine. Okay. Oh, so three, get to look at five. Okay. You have Baz, which is a hydro tank. Remember, I mentioned all about tank. So, well, tank support damage, I guess. Which is going to be healer, I guess. Um, do some buffs, debuffs. But Baz. Hydro tank. Smurg. Fire tank. Brew. Nature support. Zook. Uh, which is light support. And flick, which is dark damage. So I wonder how this like, tank support damage stuff will, like... Mm, you know, uh, how it will affect gameplay. Hmm. I'll take the only damage there is. Flick. Well, I suppose we'll have to put you through the trial. Just because my granny gave you a Murgle doesn't make you a summoner. Mm -hmm. You have lots to learn, but you'll have to pass the test first. Meet me at Frost Peninsula to get started. It's just west of here. Okay. You and your new Murgle You'll almost certainly get a whipping on your way over there by yourself. Do you even know how to summon and lead that thing? Nope. I suppose you need some sort of tutorial, eh? Ah, uh, yes. Too bad! Oh. There's no flaming tutorial around here. Figure it out. And I... Just don't get yourself killed along the way. Grandpa! Here, take these potions to help you. Well, since she gave them to you, make sure you actually use them. I, I can't 
tell you how many dead recruits I found who didn't use their potions. Anyways, I'm off to make the preparations. Don't be late. Squire! Squire! <laughs> Can't go there yet. Okay. Well, don't think go. Can I? Is it, can I go through here? Yes. Okay. I thought it was up to the top. I thought that was the only place I can go west. Oh. Chase party. Okay. Finally. Oh, go back. Go back. Go back. No, nope. went too far back. Guess the night. Some smaller ledges can be jumped down, but don't be care. Be care. Uh, but be careful. You can't climb back up them. Can't believe I struggled saying that simple thing. My oh, stupid steam streaming. Okay, so you kind of see the underline, uh, like the lighter underline emitting some light. So top right, uh, you see Flick has 145 HP, 100 mana, and zero rage. And whatever this Smurgle is, he has 135. So let's go to abilities. Slash is 68 physical damage, 15 rage, 58 Physical damage, 75% chance cause bleeding for three turns. Let's go go the. How much is bleeding damage though? Um, let's see what this rage is all about as well. So Harken. They didn't mention a Harken before. Okay, 39. I'm guessing, ooh, I'm guessing he did bleed. Yes. Pull down of two. No, cool down. Okay. Hit him again. 49. Some down 77. I'm just gonna knock him out. There we go. Almost. Patch of Mergle fur. What? Okay. Vendor trash. Ah, so I can sell it to a vendor. How much does this heal me? 100 HP. I'm gonna use it just because it's gonna be stupid for me to die this early on. Yep. Alright, I like this kind of page sound. Sometimes I wish things were more evident. Um, like which ones you're picking. Sometimes it's a bit confusing. Like when I had to switch in. Um, like at the fire, I had to switch in, you know, uh, flick. So, physical power 24, armor 19, magic power of 24, magic resist of 19, speed of 4, dexterity of 20. Which I'm guessing dexterity is, uh, I'm guessing be able to evade or to hit. I don't know. I'm sure we will find out. Oh, there's another chest we'll be able to get. Don't tell me everyone was healed. Nah, I just wasted that. Okay, yes I did. Would you like to summon Murgles? No, so you can only summon Murgles at campfires, apparently. I don't have any extra Murgles. Fun 
go up here. Lesser potion, awesome. Oh, so I didn't waste that. Right. Trying to walk the least. Wild Mergle has appeared. Okay. Um, abilities. I'm gonna do. Start off with Rip, just because. Pay attention how much damage Rip actually does. So 39. Oh my god. Oh crap. Um, it's all on. Fight. Abilities. Wish the menu was a bit different, and I wish the enemy was on the left. So I guess I'm gonna use another one. He's gonna only hit me for 28. But there's another 15, so that puts him up to 54, and let's hit with just a slash. 49. Okay. Oh, nice. My rage. So Rip is definitely worth it, especially in a longer battle. A hey, level up. Let's see, level two, obviously. Acquired skill, a skill, well, dark shard. Increase my max health by seven. Everything else went up by one, except for my speed. Spend it, speed went up by seven. I mean by three, two seven. Pretty significant. Broken Mergle bones, okay. <laughs> okay, good. Hey. Hey, orc. Just what do you think you're doing here? You're an orc. You can't possibly be serious about becoming a Smurgle summoner. Let me teach you a lesson. Well, let me murder all of your Murgles. Does he just have one? I'm guessing so. Hmm. Deal 85 dark damage. Oh, go back. So, if I'm right, I think my I can't, I can't view my party from here, I don't think. No. So, I can't view my stats or anything. But I think... Mm, okay, so I believe that... My magic damage is higher than my physical damage. I still don't know what rage does. But what I want to do first is I want to hit that rip. So this is hide or hide. Level 3. I think I'm level 2 or something. So 32. 39. I hit him. It immediately, immediately puts on 55 damage just for that one hit for that one turn. And I'm gonna use a dark shard. Just to see. Okay. 64. Okay. And slash. Ooh. 49. 16. So no matter what he does, I am going to rip him to shreds with Dark Shard. Oh, he got faster or something. Okay. 87 range. I wonder what would have happened if I would have done, you know, more. The Dark Servitude. Hmm. So up one level, yep. Increase my max health by quite a bit. And again, my speed went up by quite a bit. Oh, my magic power is the same as my um, physical power. And my magic resist is the same as my armor. Which I'm guessing is just pretty much my physical defense. Okay. I have nothing compares to right now. So. We'll figure this out as we go. Pfft, you're lucky I wasn't even trying. Get out of my way, pickle face. Oh, well. Okay. I hope your Murgles died. I just stepped in the grass. What the? Just 
just regular old fox. Increase all dark damage to the target by 25% until the end of combat does not stack. So, we'll see. Um, rip. Two, one thirty-nine. If it goes up fifty-seven, I want to see dark servitude. Okay. So it puts up to seventy-two damage overall. I hit him with the dark shard. I do wish uh, I could go to my party and see. Um, also, I'd like to know what status effects. I know when you select them up top, it shows like the little icons, but I wish I could get something to drop down and look at them. But I know this was an incomplete game, you know, so I, you know, I'm not gonna literally be like, oh my god, I can't believe you did what this shit. I ain't gonna do that. Some more vendor trash if I'm right. So just pretty much stuff I can make money off of. Okay, where, where, where? Well, I'm guessing that cave maybe. So up, but dang it. Seventy-six. Ooh. I need a rip. My stupid steam stream. Two doesn't matter though. 37 fight items heal it's fine because even if he attacks me I'm still going to have exactly that I'll go ahead and use slash Don't hit hard 52 27 I'll hit him first Bam. Rage of 74. Alright, three broken Murgle bones. Oh. Kind of lag right there. Oh, no. Fight. Items. Heal. This has been fun. Only 41. Can you dodge my man? Okay, I just need to last hit first on this one. 51, yes. Gotta survive this. And I got to... There we go. Now, HP of 1. Didn't level up, though. Intact Murgle Bone. Please. Oh, no. Items. Yes. Please. I hope that healed my dude. It healed him. Okay, that's pretty much a full restore. Max potion right there. Plus a rare candy. Thank God. Man, oh man. Oh, crap. Another one of these dudes. I'm afraid to try to escape and then be wrong and then screw myself on it, you know? Let me try one more time. Hey. Actually, escaped. Oh, now loading. Okay. I need no more potions, that's for sure. And a jump. Okay. Down. Awesome. Now let me save, old man. Tons of files you can save on. I'll give him that. That's a crap ton of files to save on. Yes. 
Alright, escape. No. It's about time you got here. You might be wondering why I brought you all the way out here. Well, it's not for dramatic effect. You see this big tree? The tree doesn't matter. You see this big rock? It's not a rock. That, uh, that my boy, is the first ever Murgle summoning stone. Those who touch it gain powers to summon Murgles. You can't rely on my grandy to give you all your Murgles forever. Before you go any further, you need to learn to summon your own Murgles. So why don't you go ahead and give it a little touch? Hmm. Summoning power increase. Your maximum party size has increased. Finding additional summoning store, uh, stones will increase your party size further. Oh, I like that. Nice little thing. So return to Monty. Oh yeah. You feel that power? Feels good, doesn't it? But don't get too cocky. All you did was touch a stone. But now that this stone has got you all juiced up, it's time to learn to summon more Murgles. Take this Soul Harvester. You received a Soul Harvester. Use that in combat to harvest the soul of a Murgle. Once you have its soul, you can summon it from a summoning fire. Be sure to weaken the little sucker up a bit before you try to harvest it, though. Alright. Fast travel point unlocked. You have unlocked a fast travel for Frost Peninsula. I think there was one further back. Or farther back. Wait, 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 wait. You need a nerd Murgle first. I'd have to catch one right now. Okay. Oop. Oh yeah, I can't go back to the cave. Dang it. I want to get that beefy dude. Yeah, not doing that. I want a tank. So, dude's got to look tanky. Oh, crap. Alright, abilities. Rip. Forty-three. Thirty-three. Abilities. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's an interesting move. Bam. Holy crap. Awesome. Hey. Alright, just keep batting like this. <laughs> Going back. Honestly, if you wanted to grind right here, you could grind hard. No, thank you. 38. Okay, well, I guess we're fighting them. Rip. E. <laughs> Increase its armor. It's fine. Dark Shard. 69. 38. Little dude doesn't seem that good. Alright, 51. But is this all we're gonna find in this little area? Oops, go back. Yay, come on, come on. God darn, little dude. Is the only two things out here, um, Spetty? And what was it? Hark? Harkin? Something like that? Speddy and I'll find out. Fifty one. Increase the armor all you want, buddy. I'm gonna dark shard you. A sixty nine. Okay. No. 
Can't go back up to get that worm freaking creature, which is looking cool. Man. Let's rip. Wolf. Okay. 45. 43. Dark servitude. Three. Alright, I'm bleeding too. That's fine though, because I'll use Dark Shard. For 89. And a level up. So, increase in my level up. I don't know, I keep reading that. 13 increase in my max health. Plus 2 physical power. Plus 2 in my magic. Plus 1, plus 3 in that. Plus two in my dexterity, and a patch of Murgle fur. All right, oh, I got to see. Okay, got to see if the only two are those. Here's a little cute dude. Wib. Forty-five. 37 slash 55 miss hit him for 18 getting that whip something different he looks kind of cool hey there we go Did a little grinding, got a little of uh, a few items that we could, you know, sell. Yes. Oh, Wib is a tank. So summon, click, and Wib have been summoned. Awesome. Summon your new Murgle, then find and kill three packs of wild Murgles. Do that, and I will let you join the summon hood. I'll be waiting just north of here. Okay. So, I'm going to do this here. Because I have a summoning fire I can just heal. It's just bam, bam, bam. Oh, they're so close together. Okay. Abilities. Rip. Abilities. So, yeah, swap 61. I have to check his stats after this. Swap 61... Zealots, zealot, whatever. Strike, which looks like a lot or something. Um, I don't know. 66 physical damage, 30% chance to afflict the target with zealotry, forcing them to target an ally. For. For what? I don't know. Um, increase your magical. So 100 rage will give you increase your magic resist and armor by 30% for six turns. If there's a Murgle receives fatal damage during his time, it will okay. uh, increase your armor by 30% for four turns. I think I'm just going to rip through his stuff. 47. He hit me for 40. Two. A taunt move would be awesome. Ooh, it did not do the... But I expected it to do. Try, I'll hit it for, or I'll do this just to. Why not? Fifty-seven. Oh, I could have ended it right there. Okay. Slam. Swat. There we go. Plus two and plus two. Plus two, I guess, gold. Alright, healed. No. I'm gonna go ahead and get these three out of the way so I can just avoid the rest of them. A wild Murgle has appeared. This little. Was it. Sp Spig? Something like that. One second. 
excuse me. I had to sneeze. Ooh, yeah. That one hurt, I can't lie. So the difference between swap and zealot. So rage is different. Um, zealot does more zealot strike. Um, so I guess it's just objectively better. I don't understand the rage yet. Okay. So slash. And just beat him to death. 55. Increase his armor. Then I hit it for nothing. Doesn't matter though. Just fly through that. Just. <laughs> Alright. One more. That's all it's gonna take. Oh, back. Um, if you don't know, one thing you can do if you are gonna try out this game, which I will be giving away, um, uh, some keys. Uh, so watch out for that. Probably gonna have it on Twitter. Maybe put it up in a video announcing it. I'll, I've still gotta figure out how I'm gonna distribute them. But anyways... So abilities, rip. But what you can do, oh yeah, what I was saying. What you can do at the beginning is if you press escape during the um, opening scene, you can get to your party. Which is like, oh, uh, you know, really nothing. But you can also exit, and it's gonna still play. <laughs> and if you go back in and it's have it like start a new game and try to have it talk, like it's still talking from the first time you you know did it. You start it. The first time it's going to continue as if you're still in it, and then a new thing is going to start. Let's see. Slash. Oh, move. Right, there we go. Is that enough? Yes, it is. I think that was my third one, I think. Alright, health is good. Oh, no, get out of there. Oops. I like the little page turn thing because it's supposed to be like a medieval based, uh, game also I like how the hood like moves hearthrod hearthrod first off oh hold on I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go to items first okay yes 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 instantly teleport you back to the last summoning fire you oh you visited can I click it don't have anything okay that's fine that's fine that's fine so, Murgles, let's, 30, 24, 30, 24, 23 physical power, 25, so that's one higher than the other, 20, 25, one higher, speed's lower, I think, dexterity is lower, I think, um, so it's a light tank, while I have a dark damage, speed's lower, yes, dexterity is also lower, but it's also a level below, so I don't know, you know, uh, if it can be leveled up before the other does, then I can compare to them, you know. Okay, so, bam, 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 left, up. Don't need that yet. So, set to the north, but I do want to explore a little. Am I? What is this? Oh, it's a pack of Murgles I'm supposed to be. I see, it's not... Not just Murgle, but it's a pack of Murgles. So I'm gonna rip Leap B, yes, abilities. I'm gonna. Yep. See what strike. So hit him. For good 46, plus I got the bleed. 34, okay. Oh crap. 42. Oh, okay. Um, slash, leap, abilities. I'm going to swap that. 56. 61. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. 40. I'm down to 9. Kill him, man. Shard. Swap. 
Which I, I don't think I can do Soul Harvester. Dang it. This sucks. He's gonna be beat. Hit him. Knock him out. 76. Come on. <clears throat> yes. Oh, thank God. That was nothing short of a miracle. I am gonna do a slash to just finish him out. Swipe. Okay, that was nothing but a freaking miracle. That's all that was. My god, that was more difficult than what I thought it was going to be. Did I not grind enough? Holy crap. Yes, I got the hill. I don't know if I want to get what's out there, though. So let's go to the right and see what's also here. Um, so he said to the north. Tell you what, what's the point of playing if I ain't going after those chests? Okay, guys. Let's go. I'm going to be like, oh, crap, I ran into a Merle. Oh, thank God. So move down one. So I have, like, one patch of grass less. <sighs> Almost. That's fine. Oh crap. <coughs> okay, that's fine. Abilities. Dark servitude. Abilities. Zealot strike. Is Zealot strike a taunt move? I can probably look at the. I wonder if I can go to skills and it actually display the whole thing. 41. Abilities. Dark shard. Swap. Oh, sorry. Swap. No. Swap. 103. 37. Bam. There we go. Level up for Flick. Okay. Plus 15 max health. That's huge. Um, 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay. All across the board, 2. Okay, let's go to skills. I want to see this. So, Savage Claws. Slash a random enemy up to three times, dealing variable physical damage. Gain in, uh, gain rage for each one. Um, so, skills, web. Zealot Strike. So, 30% chance to afflict. Oh, dang, it doesn't show it either. It will. I don't know what that means. I don't know. But let's go to the left, right, up. Or rather, right, up. I don't know if I said left, but right, up. Okay. So there's another guy. There's another. Okay. Scared. I don't know why. Even though it was going to come, it still scared me. Alright, so abilities. Rip. Finish one off. So we do both B. 50. Bleed. Okay. 42. 42. 42. Afflicted with Zilla Treat. So. Savage Claws. Yes. Then I'm going to Bolster. 20 mana. Miss, 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 miss. Okay. Oh. Oh, it hits the other ally of his. Oh, 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 oh. Not worried about that. So I can slash him. So, what's odd is, okay, I'm pressing down. Doesn't go up, press up, it goes there. Uh, default one, I think it's like A, or B rather. Doesn't matter. Um, I think Zilla Tree is going to help us deal with this one. So, that's why I'm going to deal with just using swap. 
60. 42. Hits his own self. That's great. 37. Alright. No. Items. Which one did I pick? Okay, so I can do that. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do this slash. Can't hit with that crap anymore. So I'll get rid of him. I'll go to my items, use that, and I'll use it on flick. Okay, use this first no matter what. That's good. Plus 100. Physical damage. Kill him. Oh. And there we go. Ooh, man. Not comfortable with that. I think it's my second one. It's not comfortable with that, but I'm glad he leveled up. So, max health goes up at 16. Um... Armor up two, that's fantastic. Armor up, I mean, magic resist up two, it's fantastic. Okay. Sharp Murgle teeth, I can't wait until I can sell this. I just hope I don't have any of my guys die before then. Do I risk it? For what may be nothing. I still have to battle him. Oh, thanks, Steam Streaming. I still have to battle this guy, probably. I don't need to be a wimp. I think I gotta find one more Murgle pack. No, 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 no. Uh uh. Dude, is he gonna follow me forever? No, okay, cool. He stops. Oh. <sighs> I feel like it may be a trick down there. Doesn't matter. And I step in, I immediately get attacked. Come on. 64 on Wib. Oh my god. Rip. Bolster. 48. 39. Armor. Abilities. Slash. And. Zeal it strike. Because it can hit him too. <laughs> 65. Oh dear god. Didn't hit him for zeal tree. But I'll hit him for this slash. And the swap. And the swap. Dang it. I'm not going after that. Dag um mm. I am, I am, I am, I'm I have the hearth hearth thing. Okay, abilities. Rip. Go after him. I have to hit him for zealot strike. Absolutely. Come on, bleed. Yes. Scratch. Whip? No. Him. Flick. Okay, that's fine. Zealot tree? Dang it. No. It's fine. We're gonna use, um... Slash on him. Bolster. Physical damage. Come on, get him. Increase armor. Slash. Swap. Okay. I am playing a most dangerous game. I, ooh. Rip. Seal it, strike. I have to change. Come on, bleed. No. Slash. 
Swap. Come on. Huge hit here. No! Can I even do that? What? I don't permanently lose them. Seriously? Um, so what? Oh, don't move me more, you stupid. I still have a soul harvester. One, two, down. Adams, bring back a fallen margle to life. Not usable in combat. Alright. Well, there we go. That's the end of this episode. I'll be doing more. I'm going to try to just sit down and do this. You know, it's only like three or four hours of gameplay. So I'm going to just expect a lot more. Well, I don't know, a lot more. Depends on how long the thing goes. But expect, definitely expect more um, of Mergles. So, see you in the next one. Um, okay, Steam streaming. Take a little time to do that. Anyways, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Go to link below, uh, or description below if you want to get a game. You know, through Humble Bundle. You support charity and you support this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Retro on.